working now. Far out. Fucking hell, Asus. I love you, but you 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 need better troubleshooting help. Uh. We anyway. Let's get back to it. Got a rainy boy. I'm gonna steal some um, coal from the truck station. <laughs> so. Alright, let's do it. Okay, where was I? Alright, it was... And it's all of this stuff. As they're trying to get around through here instead. <sighs> Alright. So that'll make some steel, I guess. That's right, now I remember what I need to do. How did you end up up there? I think I drove you up there. I'll come back. I need your workbench. I need encased industrial beams up the wazoo. Let's uh, pop 400 of those in. But hopefully you can like hear me chat. No, like hear, hear my voice okay, I guess. Um, Until I've finished um, all of the, these buildings here, I'll need to run around to collect the bits and pieces, but uh, that's okay. And hopefully them steel beams keep on a stealing and beaming. So I get all of the bit all, all of the smelters working as well, I'll be able to Get through that. Alright. And that can do its thing while I check out some other stuff. On the, on the lines. Alright, we are alive and well. And yes, welcome back to the Shady Harbour. Um, shit was fucked for a little bit. There's a few things that I had saved that we could have a look at. Gambling is destroying Twitch, apparently, at the moment, which, uh, you know. Surprise, surprise, gambling is bad. Um, hate to hear it, but... It's true. Um... Yeah, let's have a look at that. Hmm. 
Oh, right. I remember now. I found, uh, well, I came across a tweet from... From um, contrapoints about this. This is this. This was uh, insane. Th this is insane. All right, all right, all right. Check this out. Check this out. This is this is amazing stuff. Um, question. Let's add that. To the fucking category. This is a little bit of a uh, rabbit hole that I found, which I found uh, quite interesting, to say the least. Um, does a book call Trump the Son of Man, the Christ? I, I, I'm reading a, a Snopes article here. Fuck off. Um, I'm reading a Snopes article here because, um, like, this has a uh, a video on it, which is really fucking hilarious. So apparently there's a, a man uh, called uh, Helgard Mueller um, who, who said he believes that there are two Christs, with Jesus being the son of God who was betrayed by Judas, and Trump being the son of man who was betrayed by Pence. He also claimed that his book... Donald J. Trump, the son of man, the Christ, was not satire. Amazing. This is, this is just amazing. So, like, he was handing out flyers as well um, at the maggot crowd, and I just saw this video and just, oh, just amazing. So, the son of man will be in America. That's what Jesus said in this Bible. Okay. So the so so the son of man. Who do you find? The son of man will be American. I'm not going to show you to this man. how Jesus spoke about the son of man always in the third person. So who is the son of man? So when you start looking at all these scriptures about the son of man, which Jesus spoke in the third person, uh, and Jesus always referred to himself as the son of God, but when he spoke about the son of man, it's always in the third. So you you will see this dialogue first person and third person so the son of man is none other than this man president donald j trump the son of man the christ so now is this guy south african i, I really want to hold on oh So Hel Helgard Mueller is in Cincinnati. So apparently he lives in America, but like, I'm just lo I'm just looking through some of the extra stuff on the side right now. So when they don't want to speak Afrikaans, but rather English, that they were. What? Okay, this is a meme. This is a meme that I found. What the fuck? Apparently this? Genesis 11, 7. What? Genesis. 
is 11, 7. Oh, it's the Tower of Babel. When they don't want to speak Afrikaans, but rather English, they are confounded by the US, the gods, Genesis 11.7. That's not... What the fuck? We as the gods confused their language. What are you talking about? What are you... What are you talking about? What the fuck is this shit? So I was right, by the way. Um, he is, he is fucking South African. Wow. Yep. Yeah. South Africans. Why is it always the South, South Africans? Oh fuck this is this is this is a Let me sh show you like what I'm scrolling through right now. Wow. This is just uh some um, an, an amazing rabbit hole here. Guys, this guy is uh, amazing. Don't get offended. Don't say, oh, that's blasphemous. Oh, no, not really. Because King David, King Saul, King Solomon, Solomon had a lot of women. Ladies, gentlemen, Solomon knew how to treat women. What is nice about Solomon is compared to the son of man who knows how to treat ladies. And uh, you'll see this in Matthew 12, 48, 42. He love. Matthew 48. Wait, what? Which one was that? Matthew. You'll see this in Matthew 12, 48, 42. He Matthew 12, 48, 42. Hello? And uh, you'll see the son of man who knows how to treat ladies. And uh, you'll see this in Matthew 12, 48, 42. 48, 42? Do you mean 52? What? 42. His mother and brothers stood outside wanting to speak to him. Something said, told him your brother, mother and brothers are uh, standing outside wanting to speak to you. He replied to them, who is my mother and who are my brothers? He pointed to his disciples. He said, here are my mother and my brothers. But whoever does the will of my father in heaven is my brother and my sister and mother. What? That, that doesn't make sense. It, he's, 
What the fuck? This guy is not real. He love women. But that has nothing to do with loving women. What? Just like this man. He loves women. But anyway. What um, the fuck so are you talking Jesus about? Christ, listen here. You will see Donald J. Trump, the son of man in America. And I have to show you this to you because you will not believe me when I say. I don't, um, I don't believe Trump you. This is son of man. This is forest lightning. Lightning is the color white that comes from the east is visible even in the west. So will the coming of the son of man be. Where is the west? Definitely not China. Oh no, it's America. So we will see this. Uh... He was talking about the literal west, like the the way the sun rises from the west to the east. He wasn't talking about like west and like we didn't have that now. Holy the, shit! The Bible does speak about. This is this is this is literally like this is literally the uh, Illuminati confirmed of like Donald Trump worship taken to the extreme. Holy shit! China in the Revelations, I believe it's in Revelation one. But anyway, we're not going to speak about China now. But so when you start looking at how Jesus spoke about the Son of Man in the third person, and he refers to himself as the Son of God, you will see this in Matthew nine, uh, Luke nine twenty six. He says, for whoever is ashamed of me and my words, Jesus is the spokesperson. He said, the Son of Man will be ashamed of them when he comes in his glory and the glory of his Father. He's speaking about the Son of Man in the third person. But where do you find this? Because you will see, uh, I gave more than 20 differences between the Son of God, Jesus, and the Son of Man, Trump. And when you start taking all these scriptures about the son of man, Donald J. Trump, right? You will see how Trump fulfilled the prophecies of the son of man, which none other than Jesus, the son of God, gave. How is that, how is that possible? You will see the two impeachments, which Jesus mentioned. You will see the what? resurrection. You will see Biden's inauguration and so forth. Many things that Trump did. And how the media... This media, I love the American media, CNN, MSNBC, Fox News, how they numerous time and a time and again says Trump is the son of man. They confirmed it by saying all the things which Trump did fulfill exactly according to this Bible. But anyway, go back. So Moses says, you'll get the tablets of God and the tablets of man. These two tablets are different. They came from different directions at the mountains. You'll Wait, he's going, he's like skipping over like all of the scriptures to, to basically just point out like a triangle has three sides. Uh, there's three, there's three levels of government, Illuminati confirmed, like that sort of level of bullshit. Like this is literally, literal brain broken stuff. I kind of want to get the book now and read it just to, just to, just, just to see like how bad it is. That would be pretty funny. Not going to lie. This. And they are not the same. And they look like a, um, each other, but they're not. They look different opposite the one is the christ the one is the antichrist the one is the christ the one other one is the antichrist jesus is the antichrist of trump trump is the antichrist of jesus so what forth. because that's not the what Judaism the antichrist is Mashiach bin david Mashiach bin joseph the two messiahs and where do you find in the revelations you see the throne of the father the throne of god are different the glory of the Father, the glory of God, they are different from each other. And then you will see, where does Jesus, the Son of God, find him? And where does the Son of God, Son of Man, find himself? There you go. It's not the same. Jesus is the King of the Jews. Trump is the King of Kings. Thank you for listening. Had to throw some uh, anti-Semitism in there at the end, didn't you?
Holy shit. <sighs> That's just insane. Well, I wish I hadn't have had so many um, technical difficulties this morning. It's like, yeah. Really put a dampener on my fucking day. Oh, uh, well. Let's just chill out to some of this game. That's where I was. That's where I was at last time. Oh, and I'm missing concrete. I will need to have like a central hub at some stage for that.
Uh, now we do the other side.
So those ones there, done. <sighs> now we can do the pipes, I guess. Let's have just, let's have a look at this and see what Of support here. Okay, no, I was gonna have to start from. Okay, so it has to be more than one. That's four, and that's eight. Wait a second. So that goes down four. So it's one, two, three, four.
So you would think that this... Aha! Okay. Well, if that's like that, let's, um... Okay. That's the turning. It's 4 by 4 Yeah, no, it is four by four. Yeah. Yeah. So from there, one, two, three, four. Make it a perfect turn. All right. That's what it needs to be for a perfect turn. Okay. needs to be done. Half full mage turd needs to be put down. Here. I need a half roof, half roof for that, don't I? Hey, Hosa! Welcome back! How are you today? What's a YouTube short? What are you? Have you seen the uh, the what's the name? Bloody uh, you'll put the frame pillar on top, make it look less weird.
Yeah, the Robin Williams one, yeah. I am what I am. There we go. Now at the very least I can... Do it this way. Yeah. There we go. Now I just need to... Default that. Did they? Oh yeah, that's because the, they uh, cast uh, the chick from uh, The Shining, didn't they? I really need to watch that. I've been wanting to watch it for a very long time. Six meters worth. Now we can give it a frame front and a back seat. Oh, yeah, no, actually, that looks good. There we go. And a bag. Front and a bag. And side. Go. This game? Pretty good. I did get frustrated earlier because my, um, I, so I slept in and my audio wasn't working and yeah, everything was fucked and, um, that was very frustrating, but, uh, everything seems to be going well now. Or at least. Yay! There we go. Now everything kind of looks theater. See, I've got a front reception. And I also have... an authorized aggression button. And a cool little... display. Jerry. Alright, so now to make sure that this works. So what did you what did you send me? What did you see on me? So yeah, I also found a guy who found who thought eh, 
Ugh, does it feel semi-godlike? Maybe, I just I just find it it makes the happy chemicals work. Bringing up the... Uh, I've forgotten how to use my stream. I'm so sorry. Today is not going well for me. <laughs> Alright. This whole topic when it comes to gender, I... Ah, you can't even define what a woman is. A woman is what you decide a woman is, based on your dialectical relationship between yourself, uh, your community, and society at large. It is a negotiation of meaning. That is what language is and has always been. Language has never been static. It is a negotiation between the individual and society at large. That's what it's always been. Stop being fucking, stop dick writing dictionaries, you dumbasses. Either it's a fad and it's going to go away quickly because people realize how ridiculous it is. And mm. I don't know if we're going in that direction right now because we have medical professionals saying that there's no difference between a man and a woman. If there's no difference between a man and a woman, why, why take hormones? No, one, no one's saying that. Wait, what? That, that, that one's gonna have to get a, a big a big fat citation needed for that like that's not nobody says that you're lying professional. yeah yeah I mean yeah like I agree with the first part if it's a fad it'll go away stop stop worrying about it if it's a fad it'll go away it does, there's no harm to it gonna have to prove that there is harm if you disagree with that. Let's go on up. That way. But yeah, like, unless you can show that there's actual harm being caused, um, you really don't have a leg to stand on at all when it comes to this, these sort of sorts of issues. So, yeah. Stop being shit, please. And thank you. That's basically it. Medical I put that in some quotation marks. But it's marks. crazy that these people have gone to school for 12 years. They have job titles that we've never heard of before, like gender assigned, blah, blah, well, blah. Well, they're bought and sold. That's yeah. why. They're exactly. bought and sold. What? Exactly. But these are people that are whose, re whose opinions about? are respected because they're supposed to be educated, telling people that there's no such there's no difference between men and women, yet they're prescribing hormones. Mm -hmm. That's a huge contradiction. They what? don't even, like, people aren't... No, nobody's saying this. See, this is why people trust medical professionals over, like, people like you, who don't actually know anything about what they're talking about. Obviously. Like, you obviously don't know what you're talking about when it comes to this stuff. I, I, this is, this is, like, levels of, levels of, uh, dumbassery that are just incredible to listen to. Like, there's so many things wrong with this, I don't even know where to start. Like, you don't- he doesn't know anything about what he's talking about. And he's talking as if he does. That's so weird that people can just feel confident enough to do that. Holy shit. Even willing to look at the contradictions in these ideas. Is- is white male confidence, like... Contagious or something? Gosh. Deals. Like the same people who believe in, in, in women's rights will say that there's no such thing as a woman or they can't even define what a woman is. Mm -hmm. Those are huge contradictions. This whole topic when it comes to gender. You obviously can't even define what anything about this topic. 
yet you seem to be like spouting off like your not your knowledge pretty happily and I'm s sorry not sorry to say you don't seem to actually know anything about what you're actually what you claim to know about that's wild to me the level the level of confidence that this man is amazing and there, I Either it's a fad and it's going to go away quickly because people realize how ridiculous it is. Oh, yeah, and that's it, that's it, that's it. But like, Where are you from? You don't even know what this whole time about. Nobody is saying the things that he said he was saying, that people were saying. Ooh. Ooh. We've got, a, we've got, a, we've actually got a red, a red tag here. There are many white people, especially white strangers, that I have my guard up. And it's because I'm trying to protect myself from them. I don't know if this is a safe person. Why is it that the most racist almost always exclusively comes from people on the far left? You're afraid of white people? And it's crazy that she says this so freely, right? Being a teacher and all. White educators should be a safe space for black students. If you're wondering why you're not able to connect with those kids, it's probably because they don't feel safe around you. Just for a second, imagine this being the new way that people can't handle their kids misbehaving, right? No longer is it, um, I'm sorry, he's he's a troubled child. Now it's Miss Garcella, he is if my child is afraid of you because you're white. Somebody on Twitter said, I'm Asian and I don't feel safe around her. Am I doing it right? Maybe we just shouldn't discipline students at all, right? Just let them have a free for all. Because of course that too is white supremacy. As white teachers, when we what are you fucking talking about? It's not racist to say that someone who's black feels uncomfortable around white people. Are you fucking kidding me? How is that racist? You can't be racist against white people. White people are the predominant class. Like, that's not what racism is. And if you disagree, then that probably... That, that says more about you than it does about uh, the people saying thing if you're here's the thing if, if someone says that they're a scared that, that they are uncomfortable around white people and you take that personally offensive i, I think that's that's a fucking self-report that's just a self-report holy shit you say oh this student's giving me issues and they're put out of class that fuels that school to prison pipeline which is a white supremacist system that we are upholding you know what let me ask my friend zeke about this because he is black he is a cop and he has kids wow I have a black friend. We have. I have a black friend. Oh my gosh. She is she gonna take all the. We need. We need. Oh my gosh. I need to make a uh, a white supremacist bingo card. Hold on. Let me. Let, is this this? I'm not a racist bingo card. Let me just. Let me just put. Have a look at this. How many? What is it? It's five by five, right? Five by five. Are, um. Is is how you do bingo. Um. Format cells, fill alignment, font, border, fill, no, cancel, groove off by, up for an hour debate, with who? Who am I debating against? I know, I'm just being a dick. I'll show you what I'm doing, at least. Column width. Wait, why is row height different?
145 pixels. 145 pixels. Then. Eight point seven five. Hey, I've got I've got I've got a thing now. Pulled front of that chick. Lauren Southern, oh for fuck's sakes. Yeah, link it link it anyway. Okay, uh, I have a black friend. That that that's a good one. I am not uh, familiar with them. I have a black friend. Uh, what was the other thing she said? It's like, um... White. Racism. Wait. Racism... And... There we go. Alright, we've got that going. We've, we've got a thing going. Let's see if I can, uh... Water hype this. Ah! Excel spreadsheet. Wow, that makes it very small. Oh well. Should spell it Hawaiian. Yeah. Fucking hell. Ab absolutely. I don't know. I'll, 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 I've got it here anyway. Um, screw it. But let's continue in any case. I, I really hope she stretched before making that kind of reach in that statement. I mean, if anything, I would say that failing ah. to discipline a kid does more to further to school's prison pipeline because it teaches them that there are no responsibilities. That's like literally the literally the opposite of what people what what like current studies are finding into the school to prison pipeline. Literally the opposite. Like the punishment of children in this way is like contributing to the problem. That's so absolutely not true. It's fucking frightening that you believe this. Holy shit. Really use, oh, there are no shit. consequences for their action. There's no justification for saying, oh, this is white supremacy just because you're telling an unruly kid that he or she cannot disrupt every other kid and their learning experience. This has got to stop trying to tie everything into white supremacy and trying to tie everything into some sort of social justice movement. Sometimes disciplining a kid is just that, disciplining a kid just to make sure that they get back. Yeah, but there's different types of discipline, you fucking idiot. And it's not talking about whether to discipline a kid or not. 
is talking about whether there's a disproportionate amount of discipline um, and the, the way that uh, the amount of uh, discipline compared to the um, number of children that are actually doing the wrong thing does not match up. Like, white kids do about the same fucking bullshit as black kids, yet black kids tend to be punished more. Like, this is what we're talking about when we talk about intersectionality. We're not talking about, like, like try, having, like, the Privilege Olympics or something. We're pointing out real issues that exist already, whether we look at them or not, these, these issues will exist whether we study them or not. That's what intersectionality is. And also, if you want to see a fun conversation about that, I'd like you should check out check out the Twitter link I dropped in the in in, in Discord. I, I'm I, I find it fucking hilarious. Like uh, some people's misunderstandings about how things work. We don't make racism happen when we're studying racism and what makes racism happening happen. Not happening. Wrong word. But you get what I mean. Like, you don't make bees... Bees don't stop existing when you stop studying them. They stop existing when cl you allow climate change to, like, proceed to the awful levels that it has. But that's another issue. And everyone around them isn't affected. I mean, people can't even be attracted to black men anymore without it somehow being racism, white supremacy, something. White women love black men because of the power dynamic because white women have never had any power over men in their lives. Because obviously all the white men in their lives have always had all the power over them. Do you mean that white women don't like black men because... Is that really true? I mean, there, there is a... Um, there, there is a racist history of, um, like, the way black men are perceived by white people, but I wasn't... I, I don't subscribe to the idea that this is the reason behind it. Um, I would need to see where, you know, where this is, where she's getting this information from. Whether that's just her own opinion. If it's her opinion, okay, cool. You can have an opinion, lady. Um, you're you're not wrong that there is uh, there. It is based on like a very long. And um, you know, studied history of uh, white supremacy when it comes to you know the treatment of black people. Like, look, just look at uh, buck breaking and that sort of shit. There, like, me like black men, um, and you know, and uh, women as well. Like women of color as well, and black people and uh, people, uh, men of color and women of color have all been sexualized. Um, Because of the, how, because because of the, you know, damn it. This is the power dynamics of the situation. Like black men are supposed to be highly sexual and highly, um, like ag aggressive and strong and that sort of stuff, uh, which is not necessarily true. Uh, at the end of the day. The issue we have here is the framing of the issue and whether it's like a the, she's talking about power dynamics well yeah the, the, there's a massive crossover there, there is a uh, almost venn diagram um, between people who um it's almost a venn diagram between people who uh Like, a Venn diagram is a perfect circle between... I don't know what's wrong with my brain today. I did not wake up on the right side of the bed. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, the Venn diagram between um, white supremacy and... Um, white women... Holy shit. I'm just gonna drop that one. Wow. I really need to eat something. They are usually very handsome and have bigger dicks. 
I'm gonna get for saying that, but it's usually true. It's not though. She just did the thing. She literally just did the thing. But, but like, that's the reason why black men are taken advantage of by white women and white men as well. That's that's the reason. Holy shit, she did the thing. Yeah, like, are you fucking kidding me, bitch? You literally did the thing that you claim didn't doesn't exist. Like, the, the woman there didn't really have anything to back up her position. I will agree, I will absolutely agree with that, but like, you're literally contributing to the perpetuation of a stereotype around black men, which is damaging to them culturally, and um, to fucking hell. Holy hell, holy hell, you, you just went from like teaching kids to talking about black men's dicks, like, what demographic is this for, exactly? Holy shit. Oh, fucking hell. I mean, Straight I know that's there. why a ton of gay men like black guys. So, white women have whiteness over black- And obviously to be in any sort of like control feels good. So basically homosexual men are uh, racist, according to this this bitch. Holy fuck. Especially when you're used to never being in control. White women feel safe with black men, not only because of the hyper masculinity that they believe black men exhibit false black men do tend to exhibit more masculinity it's a culture thing it's also why it's a white supremacy thing lady yeah like she just did the thing as well like i, I i'm gonna have to ask for a big fat citation needed on that one it's a cultural thing oh if, if yeah it's a white supremacy thing what the fuck I'm just going to cook some food. I'll be right back. Let's see here. Troll toll. Troll toll. The troll toll. If you wanna, if you wanna get into this girl's hole, 
You gotta pay the troll toll. Troll toll. Oh, hey. What's up? Oh, wow. She looks drunk as fuck. This bitch is just like awful. Stop by the yeah, she's just fetishizing black people. Um, oh, yeah, I should add that to the list. Um, fetish is in. Bing, chong. There we go. I'll be right back. Thing went ding. When I cook my pies. Also, welcome back, Hashem. I fixed the sound issue. Kind of. I, re I installed um, NVIDIA's version of um, the AI noise cancelling, so it's GPU based now. Sometimes your th dingo's thing. Wait. So here's, here's like, so I have dated um, in the past with people who would, you might, like, who are very similar to chasers, but they don't, they have not, um, fetishized me in the same way that a cha that I would call a chaser. So, I find the, what, like, I, I've, I've had this ask, this question asked of me a lot, like, what is, how, what is a chaser? What's the difference between someone who is attracted almost exclusive, attracted exclusively to um, uh, trans people and a chaser? Like, what's the difference between that? And I like to reply with, well, what's the difference between being heterosexual and objectifying women? Same shit. That's the difference. I'm still a bit uneasy about uh, calling it a, a, a anything more than a um, sexual preference, though. I wouldn't. I would not lend um, any uh, legitimacy to being trans attracted as a sexuality, because being trans attracted is not a sexuality. <laughs> um, it's a sexual preference in the genitals, uh, usually in the genitals of your partner. Um, but it can get it can be a little bit more complicated than that as well. Like it has to do with like the the socialization of being transgender as well. Like there are so many things that go into what makes a person trans attracted. You know. So yeah, what's the different the the answer to what's the difference between someone who's trans attracted and someone who's a chaser, like. Yeah, well, like, are you objectifying trans people? That's it. It's the same as being heterosexual and being a... and objectifying women, like a piece of trash. Being a trash, trash human being who does that. So, you're welcome. I fixed... I fixed it. Um, we all know now. The debate can... 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 conclude. Hispanic men and black men tend to not be as accepting of gay people. That's just straight fact or gay fact. And this is interesting because aren't y'all the ones that are like hyper aware of how many people of color there are gay, like LGBT people of color that are homeless? Like, why do you think the reason for that is? Black people also tend to be more religious, more traditionally for gender roles. Why are these things happening like that? The root causes are all in white supremacy, lady. It is because of the cultural norms that were imposed on men, on, on black men. Not something that was inherent within them from the fucking get-go. What the hell? You don't know anything about what you're talking about. What the fuck? 
They're not more dominant. They're, they're, they're fucking human beings. They're whole ass human fucking beings with thoughts and hopes and dreams. And differences between them. They aren't fucking, they aren't a fucking penis. They aren't a fucking aggressive. They're just, it's just, it, it is a white supremacist fetishization that has been like handed down generation to generation so that black men are, have these um, norms of masculinity imp imposed upon them. Like, that's the worst part about it. It's like, She's talking about this shit as if it's normal. It's just, oh yeah, that's just the way black people are. And this comes down to the conservative argument of, you know, you can't change, um, you know, you, you, you can't, everything that's, uh, that is just is, you know what I mean? Like, these people believe that, these people just believe that uh, people are certain ways and, and won't consider like the fact that people don't people people who differentiate from the norm um and then it's okay to do that holy shit my brain today is not working and i have definitely taken my medication as well Fucking hell. this is my favorite response to this person by the way this is my favorite response to her it's interesting that you would say that white women are in control when they date black men because black women say the opposite. Black women say that black men date white women because black men can get away with anything. So which one is it? By the way, we are so hellbent on being anti-racist that now we have anti-racist math. You heard that right. And no, I'm not talking about- I'm so over this bullshit. Like, oh yeah, black men are like this, black men are like that. All she's doing is basically saying, I have a black friend who says the opposite. That's all this is. I have a black friend. Holy fuck. Every time, every time she wants to um, be, debunk someone else's argument, she gets a black man to talk for her. Right? Do you not see? Do you not see how you, as a white woman, are exploiting a black man? to fucking make content for you. You're literally just exploiting a black man to make your arguments for you so you don't have to actually do it, have any fucking effort. You find the one black man who will support your arguments and you'll exploit him. This is exactly what these TikToks are talking about. Fucking hell. Holy shit. You- My gosh. Exploiting a black man who has been socialized by a white supremacist environment, like I can't blame. I I I find it very hard to blame people. But do you not see like how fucking ridiculous, how fucking bonkers this is? Oh my gosh! The whole grade on a curve thing, because black kids aren't smart as smart as white kids, or whatever Joe Biden says, poor kids aren't as smart as white kids. This is teaching anti-racism in math equations, in math problems. What Biden said was racist as fuck. Problems. Basically, CRT, A squared plus B squared equals POC squared. It's the only equation. What? So, this mathematics thing that she's talking about is talking, is, is, is bringing intersectional um, critical thought into, and, um, you know, critical, critical race theory. Um, yeah, Biden's always been racist. What the fuck are you talking about? You, you, you're looking to Biden to be, like, the exemplar of, um, leftism, um, then you're going to be disappointed. If you're looking to any politician that supports the capitalistic hege hegemony, he hegemony, um, you are going to be disappointed every single time. Every time. So, yeah. I remember from it, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Exa oh, fucking hell. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, that's one. We re I rewatched, um, I rewatched, um, Get Out.
the other day with um with Boo. And I just realized that he managed to save himself, right? By picking cotton out of the armchair. I didn't realize that, like, the, all the other times I watched it, I realized it the other day that he saved himself by picking cotton. On, on, on what looks like a fucking plantation, right? Hmm? Let's read some of it, shall we? Coaching and teaching anti-race- mm. That's right. I got sidetracked. So this mask thing, um, so, ma so basically this is talking about how, um, um, intergenerational, um, trauma has caused a disparity between black people and white people, but yeah, nope is really good. Don't, all, all I can say, don't read anything about it, don't watch the trailers, don't learn anything about it, just go into it with no expectations. That's all. That's all I can recommend. Like, when it comes to a, um, a, P a Jordan Peele film, um, just, just go to it and not, and, and don't look at any of the discourse surrounding it. Just, just go and watch it. It's one of those, he's one of those types of directors that, like, it, it'll be fun to watch. I mean, for me to math at the high school level. Math lessons that focus on understanding social and racial injustices are an important piece of the broader struggle for justice. However, teachers cannot simply take on an activity and implement it in their classrooms without first doing the self-reflective work. Of course, you can't teach anti-racism without being an anti-racist yourself. No one even knows what those words mean these days. I mean, next year we're- What? Nobody knows what being anti-racist means? It means not- it means being against racism. Holy shit. Hmm. That's another bingo. Racism has lost. Lost its name. Let's see if I can, um, I, I want to see if I can uh, put this on the screen. Desktop capture Discord full height. So that's full height. Maybe I change desktop around. No, I can't do that one. Capture the game in game quarter. Oh, 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 no, wait, that's game. Ah! Desktop, Discord. This one. Nope, not that one. Full height. Nope, not that one. Ah! Hold on. I need to create a new capture for this. Whoa. And how easy that is to read on your screen.
Put that one underneath the text. Go. Uh, it's underneath the text, so apologies for that. But Whereas all borders, here we go. Pick outside borders. There we go. Check this out. There we go. There we go. Now I can just put this anywhere. Haha! We have white fragility bingo in the corner here for y'all to see. That took way too long, but we have it now. I know that we don't. We, we, we're supposed to start with one and fill it in, but I'm doing the opposite. Oh! Candyman was the best movie of that year, of last year. Are we still correct? Am I still connected?
Nothing but fucking problems today. I swear. Supposed to do an automatic backup as well. The Wi Fi must not be working. There we go, fucking hell. This is fucking bullshit. <laughs> Nothing but fucking problems today. Nothing but problems. Ah! Son of a bitch! Alright. Do I have audio at least? Cool. Right. Oh, fuck's sake. Well, we have bingo now. We have, we have white fragility bingo. So, you're welcome for that. <laughs> ah! Continue very shortly. What? Internet cut out, by the way. If you're all wondering 
or if anyone's still there. Uh. Oh, I mean, it's full. <clears throat> Not sure how long I was offline for, so. We're going to see anti transphobic science. Wait, yeah, we already we already see that. Anti transphobic science. Okay. Go. Okay, what about anti homosexual physical education? If you're a gay guy and you're super effeminate, all you got to do is show up to class and pass or have a nice. What? Why would that be a thing? Or right, we'll have a nice cock. If the gym teacher's a perv. But don't! What the fuck? Worry change is a coming. A Wisconsin school board voted in favor of a policy banning gay pride flags and Black Lives Matter flags from classrooms due to what school leaders say is political messaging back in the day it, it you know having a gay flag in there wasn't political it was just like listen you are safe here but now we know that's not actually the case the kettle moraine school board voted last tuesday in favor of keeping a code of conduct in place that the school superintendent had interpreted as banning teachers from displaying political and religious messages in classrooms i think that's a good thing the political messages include ones such as gay pride flags black lives matter flags and we back the badge or we back the police signs i am pro not having all of these things in classrooms. I think classrooms should just be simply about teaching students and equality. Yeah, but the problem with that is with like you are literally just censure that that's basically the government if it's in a public school and it's it's censoring freedom of speech and freedom of expression by the teachers. In private schools, I guess you can do whatever the fuck you want because they're corporations, but that's pretty shit, you know? Don't you want kids to learn about how black lives matter don't you want kids to learn to respect the co I, uh, I could sorry i almost couldn't get through that one but not Ooh. having equality blasted onto the, the the boards and the ceilings of the place because we know that that's this is not actually what equality is this is certainly a good thing though i mean although people these days can make just about anything political right and remember it's not just what you Everything is politics, even if you don't like it. It still exists when you close your eyes. You fucking dumbass. You say or do. It's what you don't say or don't do. Remember when everyone didn't post a black square, got absolutely trampled by their friends, by their family, nope. by media? I don't remember that, because I'm not- I, I guess I'm not as terminally online as you, which is weird, because I'm terminally online. What by anybody? Fuck? For not posting a black square on Instagram. Remember. No. Remember, the far left does this- Basically, the far left? The far left laughs their fucking heads off at people who think that twi that posting black black squares to tw to Twitter like does shit. You don't know anything about the far left. The far left doesn't give a fuck about like Twitter. Twitter is not praxis. It's a social media forum. You c it's a tool to be used for certain purposes. And if and if you think that posting a black flag to Twitter, ooh, pardon me solves any problems in society, then that just makes you a lib. Not, not, not a far leftist. It's to control you, to control yeah. people. Look Sorry at what happens that, when a black woman says that she is not oppressed. When I said um, that as a black person, I'm not oppressed. And I mean, you could say that anywhere else in the world and it'll be like, yeah, of course we, we understand. But people, Maybe a small minority, but a very loud minority, especially at that time where everything was so overly politicized, really didn't like me saying that as a black person here in the Western world, having have come from Zimbabwe, a country that is, the population is genuinely, truly oppressed. And I know what that looks like. I'm, I'm not oppressed. I'm not oppressed because of my race. I don't see my race as a burden. You might ask, how did the far left 
So she moved to a country from Zimbabwe. She doesn't, she, she so I'm assuming that she didn't experience the generational trauma that uh, the African Americans faced, Black Americans faced, like from chattel slavery. So she hasn't had any of that. She probably, she also came from a country that where they didn't have the redlining, which led to uh, Black people being, um, Exposed to dangerous levels of lead, changing the um, the uh, abil the cognitive abilities, affecting the cognitive abilities and aggression of um, an entire generation of fucking black people. Um, and you obvious, and she obviously has the amount of money to move to another country. Like this is what this is. This is yeah. This is this is it. She can afford to move. Like no shit that you're you are not oppressed as a black person in America. Like. This is it. It's all about individuals. If I made it, everyone else can. Okay, well, if you made it and it's all about hard work, why aren't, why aren't, like, why isn't my mum a fucking billionaire? Why isn't my, why doesn't my brother have, like, 15 houses? Why does, why don't I own, like, an entire fucking casino? Like, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. I work seven days a week at the moment, <laughs> trying to pay my fucking bills. Go fuck yourself. To react to this, they told her that she wasn't truly black. Interestingly enough, this is almost like reverse segregation because you're con- And when you, that's, that's it, when you distill it all, everything I said then, she's just gonna say she isn't really black. I'm just like, no, it's not what I'm saying. Like she didn't, she, oh, fucking hell. White people stay out of black Twitter, seriously. Let's 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 let Black Twitter Twitter do Black Twitter, and leave that discussion alone. But she was an immigrant with means who came to America. When you have money, like this is intersectionality. It is the intersection between class and race. Your class affects the difficulty that you have in life. So when a black person who, from a privi privile more privileged upbringing, um, talks about how they made it with only, you know, a million dollar grant from the, like, you know, scholarship from the parents or whatever, uh, C word debate was the debacle because of fragility. Yeah. I need, I, I need to go out and buy some crackers. I love them. Convincing the people that were segregated in the past that they're victims and then they want to segregate themselves because of that Which is kind of even more evil. You're talking about someone who wasn't even involved with any of that it, Like the American cultural stuff in any case Since it puts all the blame on the actual person victimizing themselves and not on somebody else it just makes you stupid really she said I was message mainly by white people telling me that I am oppressed but I wasn't raised to be a victim and I refused to be one. Later that year of course she wrote an open letter declaring that she was leaving the cult of wokeness leaving the far left because they're crazy that they insist she will forever be who is oppressed this person? because she who even is that person like she didn't actually um tell us who it was 718 family, by media, by anybody, for not posting a black square on Instagram. Remember, remember, the far left does this to control you, to control people. Look at what happens when a black woman says that she is not oppressed. When I said, um... Who is that? for this. Fuck's sake. I hate, I hate this bitch. Uh.
your whole thing about the climate change. No, no, not that bitch. We already watched that one. You're 29. Hmm. Where is this podcast? Is it all on Apple? Is Apple... Oh, 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 here we go. Yeah, there she is. Since starting the Diary of a CEO, one of the most popular questions I get asked is... The other thing that you mention in your, in your book, that little voice in your head, is this concept of... This concept that we can retrain our brain physiologically. One of the things I've heard you talk about a lot is your... your sort of keep referring to my sobriety in that period of my life because it was so trans races oh she's she oh she's on she's on the um she's gone on through the the jordan basic b peterson uh train last year uh cancel culture Zimbabwean born Londoner. She is also a writer. She was on the Michaela Peterson podcast. She's a self help. She's a self help guru. Ah. Credited coach, consultant, strategic, international speaker, who specializes in helping public figures and entrepreneurs, teams, and individuals with uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, professional experience, so long time clinical hypnotherapist, executive and success coach. So she's a, she's a scammer, basically. <sighs> the hardest thing, though, is finding out the actual history of these people, because they're not big enough to actually have much scrutiny on them. Um, but um, yeah. In London. 229,000 followers on Instagram, leaving the cult of wokeness. Um, she's seen real... Uh, 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 huge advocates against FGM based. Um, it's interesting that, uh, you know, the conservatives don't want to, like, get up in arms about that, but yeah, okay. Uh, duh, 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 refuse to be one. Your background. What is your background? Where did you do 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 do? Where did she come from? Like, <sighs> wait, what? Real name. She moved to England when she was nine years old. So she didn't really experience much. Wait, oh, this is the same. This is the same as the. Um, oh, she's basically this person. Hold on. Um, North Korean escapee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the it's the North Korean escapee. Like she's the same. Yeah, Yomi Park. She's 
She's she's the Zimbabwean uh, Yomni Park, basically. Um. Uh, da, 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 includes da, 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 da. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, it's very hard. But generally speaking, these people like like. Generally, they they all. I, I wouldn't be surprised to go back into her history um, and find uh, connections between her and other self help gurus. Like the fact that she's going through, like this 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 podcast that that she's uh, clipping um, Africa's Africa Brook from is like at one of these self help uh, entrepreneurial um, scammer um, ones, just like the Michaela Peterson and the Jordan Peterson podcasts. Same shit. Marapakos and Doggy and Chad! Mm hmm. 13, 12. Look at this gem. Berkeley Co op Person of Color Theme House bans white guests from common spaces. That's not exactly true, but it's, you know, let me, let me go into it a little bit more. Under a section labeled guests. Okay. In common spaces, it states guests are allowed in common spaces, but let BIPOC people have their spaces. We took everything else from them. The least we can do is give them that. Please be mindful if there are house members in the room beforehand, of course, that are not white. Uh, white guests are not allowed in common spaces. It says that, but then when they were confronted about this, this is what they had to say. Stephen Ross, who is the manager for the Berkeley Student Cooperative, told the College Fix that neither the BSC nor the POC has an official policy excluding white guests from common spaces. Quote, white people can and do live in the people of color house, but the focus for the people of color house is providing a safe and supportive living environment for people of color. Uh, it's just like black people wanting a place themselves that hasn't been colonized by white people. This bitch. And I was personally offended by this. Yeah, I guess that's fine, but that's not how this is coming across. It says the person of color theme house, a five story, 30 room home that can accommodate up to 56 students exists to serve low income, first generation immigrant and marginalized students of color. That is Based. all well and good, but that's not how this is coming across. <laughs> and banning white people from simply existing in a space is ridiculous. But this is where no, we're at. This is it's about time that more white people got banned from like public spaces. Seriously, those people, those people like don't those people. Yeah, a a um a, a, a when when white people move into the like like basically basically the um, American Indians be like, um oh yeah oh look a white person well there goes our neighborhood that's fucking fucking hell. This is just insanity. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And as always, make sure to go over to my locals page, Ariel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Con favorite based cop. Wait, wait. So the black guy was a was a cop as well. He was a cop as well. Yep, yep. He's a cop. The, no the notorious COP pronouns, bra slash brother. Oh, fucking. Oh, hashtag all lives matter. I'm not sure if I'll have time to do that today. It's 11.18 and I do need to do some um, stuff. But like, let's, let's, let's have a look a little bit. Have a look a bit. Like boys in the hood theme. Idiots everywhere. I just, it's, it's amazing. Does UK have orthodontics? I'm not sure. I think it... Hey, thanks for the follow! Welcome, Vampire Hunter D, which is a really good um, anime. Like, I, I, do, I do like anime. Oh, and uh, yeah, first time chatter. Welcome. Thanks for the follow. Does the UK have orthodontics? Um, I, I, they have NHS, so they should. No, actually, no. I don't think in, in Australia as well, we don't have dental either. But holy shit, this bitch. We all go. I need to create a second account for these people. I'm just going to save it to 
watch on stream since I watched it on stream, so so I can come back to that later and find more shit. But oh my gosh. Oh yeah, Vampire Hunter D. Uh where's the I'm gonna hide the um extra capture because I don't need that. Right, so uh, what are we looking at here? Where's that? Where's that second link? Oh yeah. So wait, let me just find the legal thing that he did. Well, I'm looking for this. I I think this is the next logical. So let me ask you this question, because I I think this is the next logical. Question. Oh yeah. Because the president of the United States, you unlike say Hillary Clinton in her case, right. a president has the power to declassify. Correct. Okay. You had said on Truth Social a number of times you did de declassify. I did declassify, yes. Okay. W is there a process? What was your process to declassify? It doesn't have to be a process, as right. I understand it. it. You know, there's different people say different right. things, but as I understand it, there doesn't have to be. If you're the president of the United States, different, different people say different just things. By saying, oh, yes. um, it's declassified, even by thinking about it, because you're sending it to Mar a Lago or to wherever you're sending it. And there doesn't have to be a process. There can be a process, but there doesn't have to be. You're the president. You make that decision. So when you send it, it's declassified. We, I declassified everything. Now, I declassified things, and we were having a lot of problems with NARA. You know, NARA uh, is a radical left group of people running that thing. And when you send documents over there, I would say there's a very good chance that a lot of those documents will never be seen again. There's also a lot of speculation because of what they did, the severity of the FBI coming and raiding Mar-a-Lago. Were they looking for the Hillary Clinton emails that were deleted? <laughs> Clinton emails are out there already. What are they fucking talking about? Like, why do they keep on talking about the Clinton emails? The reason they keep on talking about Clinton emails, this is what it is. The same reason why um, Ben Shapiro will talk. Ben Shapiro will literally say, "I was watching it this morning." What, what like the, I was a Hassan clip, um, um, but yeah, I just classified everything in my head. So say he said classified Delta just without going through the declassification process, just thinking because he was president, he, president he could be king. So. Yes and no. So this is not as big a thing as you think. Um, and um, there is a fantastic video from Legal Eagle which goes down into this. The rules and regulations around how to declassify documents as a general rule for, like, apart from exceptions like, you know, nuclear secrets and that sort of stuff, obviously he's not admitting here to the nuclear secret stuff he's talking about in general there is a routine but it is a guideline rather than a rule it's a lot more complicated than that legal legal goes into it um a lot uh better but um, yeah, that's effectively what it means. Like, in a nutshell, too long to read. Like, he didn't technically do anything illegal, but it doesn't help his case. However, if it fi if they find that he did this with nuclear classified documents as it appears to be now, Again, a lot of these things are allegations and haven't come out yet, as far as I know. But, yeah, that's when things get pretty shit. Um, but, yeah. Yeah. And, and, and done randomly, like, that's technically, technically, he's right. Unless he's specifically talking about the, the 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 highly sensitive ones, the ones that no president is able to declassify. You know what I mean? And like, unless he's being specific about that, he's not really. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She didn't understand it at but all. But they are around someplace. Were they looking for the well, wait, spying you're not on saying Trump's? You had it. Did, did... No, no. They may be saying they no. may have thought that it was that in did. there. Okay. And a lot of people said the only thing that would give the kind of severity that they showed by actually coming in and raiding with many, many people is the Hillary Clinton deal, the Russia, Russia, Russia stuff, or, I mean, there are, there are a number of things, the spying on Trump's campaign. So they spied on my campaign. Yeah. 
Did my net die? It did. It did earlier, unfortunately. It's supposed, yeah, for some reason the Wi-Fi on our router keeps on um, fucking up. Or I'll, I'm going to start calling a modem because it annoys people. All right, let's play. So there's a, bit a of difference this. when you start saying Europe is doomed, and if we don't do something I'm just, about it, I'm just buying. I'm buying Wolfenstein, the entire Wolfenstein pri um, franchise, because it's like up to like eighty percent off. To too late. The games. You're going to be killed, and you're using the word "killed" over and over again. Then it seems like you're alarming people about something that isn't actually happening and leading towards harm. There have been mass mainstream media reports on the Great Replacement saying not only that it's true, but that they support it. New York Times, Guardian, Time Magazine. All of these places have reported that white people are being replaced. They're being no, they haven't. Holy shit! When was this? When was this? Holy shit! This was this was within the last two weeks. Ha ha ha! Ooh, another game. Ooh, yeah. They keep removing legal documents within the US. They keep saying things in public. It's not done randomly. I agree. I agree. But it's not the smoking gun people wishes wish it was. Like. It's like me saying that whatever that fucking kid's name that killed that um, uh, killed those two people um, in the BLM protester, whatever, the written mouse, uh, little mouse, um, Stuart, Stuart, little mouse, um, like sh shot up. Um, um, so yeah, Stuart, Stuart, little mouse uh, is his name now. Stuart, little mouse, um, Stu. He, he, I can say that, in my opinion, what he did was unjustified, but to the letter of the law, it was. Okay? We need to understand this. We need to understand the difference between what the law says and how the law works and what we wish would be the process of law. Yes, but Aspie from Antioch. Is he Aspie? Huh. No. It's fuck. It's shame. Stop. Like you got you. You getting me to say like, fucking bad words. Fuck. Fuck that word. I should. I should delete. It's not a bad word technically. Like, like. Can I just right click and and add to cart? Why do I have to go into it each one? But don't don't make me go into why um why um Aspie and Aspergers is a bad term. Basically, it is. Source, trust the circles. Being destroyed. Some of them, I know you had a recent clip go viral on Twitter. She basically was talking about how the great replacement theory is anti-Semitic. It's bigoted. It's, it's Islamophobic. And then hey, in the same clip. A, a, a shame though. Like if I'm, if I'm going to, if I call you out, if I, if I say it, I'm not like angry. So like, it, it, you don't need to apologize to me. It's just like, it's, it's problematic as fuck because it's rooted in eugenics. And uh, Nazi shit. So, clip someone yeah. splices in another one of her videos. As, she says, as, as we are replacing the white British population. We're winning, boys. This is great. We're doing this. So, like, you have the mainstream media constantly in the same breath telling people they can't talk about this issue while also saying it's completely true and a good thing. Oh, I love it. I love it. Running cover again. I didn't say that you have to. You know what? No, 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 no. You don't. No, 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 no. You don't get to call that, her man. running cover. I, her agreeing with me I, when she's left wing and we disagree well, on yeah, a lot of things. Of course, I, do I do agree. With literally politics. any person listening to the conversation. Disagreeing with you is not yeah, running cover. What I said, well, well, That's if the problem. You think growth means agreeing with you, and you think running cover means disagreeing. No, bro. Is this is this a flash forward or is, is this, this just how it started? Holy shit, Jose! I just don't know why you care what Lauren thinks. I don't care what Lauren thinks. Why are you involved in this conversation? I would. I don't know. <laughs> right, that's my question as well. She's a woman. You're a real person, and she's a real. All right, I knew I want to get some background on this guy. Thirty. Musical artist. They do. He, he does music. Oh no! Wait! Wait! wait, wait. Whoa, wait, wait, ooh, hello, Fanatic Planner. 4.6k sub subscribers. Oh, he is! Twitch, Mr. Fanatic, Fan... Twitch, Twitch, Twitch. Let's check out, let's check out this... Oh, he's live now! Holy shit. I think you, I think you have to respect the culture of the campus that you chose to attend. Like, you can't just decide, like, Fuck I'm yeah. just going here, I don't care what these blacks say, I'm doing what I want. Like, I think that that's, I think that's a really bad look as well.
Yeah, that's so hold on. You weren't here for the panel, me. apparently, but I still want to ask you for your opinion in context. He was absolutely here for that panel. No, I think so I was here. He was absolutely here for that panel. I don't oh, know how he's acting. You were acting like you didn't remember. I thought yeah, you I, were I here. don't know why he's I, doing I, that. This is crazy. No. What? I, I think he just I, Once he gave content, I just didn't know what you said. You was like, you okay with women walking around? Yeah, but weren't you okay with that? Wait, Wait, you you okay with that? off school hours. No, I, yeah, no, I, 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 no, 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 okay I don't care about school hours. The no, campus is 24-7. I, I, I but said, man, I, can I, I ask you for your they, opinion now? I, literally, I said that I, I would say I wasn't okay with it. I said taking her degree would be uh, insane. That was my entire opinion. So you weren't okay with her being naked on campus? No. Yes or no? That's what I'm asking you. No. That was, I, you can, I mean, you can weapon the entire okay. thing. No, I, I, was just, I, maybe I'm, no, no. I could be remembering incorrectly. It's fine. Because I think y'all was like cool with it. He was like, yeah, they should take a degree at a school issue. No one said that. No one said that. No one said that. This is crazy. Literally no one said that. What? I'm pretty sure nobody made that clear. Literally no one said that. I Yeah. Or no, not that they should. They were saying like, if it happens, like she should have, she should have knew better. Or like it was, it's her own fault that she gets a degree took or something. Wait, wait, wait. How do I get to, um... I might have no, started no is, that extreme no and y'all okay. talked me out of it. Everybody would have been no, I, would consider that would have been bad. No, I wouldn't have said they should take her doing it. Correct. I, I don't think I Let's said. All right, so first things first. In the name of honesty, when I take an L, I'll take a fucking L and I'll do so publicly. This is this is Fabian, by the way. This is the guy that I debated against. Who's who? Who's basically his praxis is he's an ancom who dick rides wider by by uh, dick rides. Um, yeah, I, I wasn't sure what they were talking about, but yeah, yes, the Fabian up at the top corner. There's a clip with him in it. Um, they do not specifically calculate. All right, All right so first is. things first. In the name of honesty, when I take an L, I'll take a fucking L and I'll do so publicly. Um, they do not specifically calculate race. They only calculate income, crime stats, population density, etc. cetera. Um, what I had misremembered, apparently, um, is that black people on average are given roughly 230 points higher than whites um in their sat scores and this stuff is still blind so it's no longer like you don't know if what your test score really is or how it's done in such a way by your individual neighborhood um but you know fuck it he's right um i still think it's racist gerrymandering but at the end of the day like they racist not race isn't even a factor what t scores what? and this stuff is still blind so it's no. Did he just call it racist gerrymandering? Longer, what? Like, you don't know if what your test score really is or how it's done in such a way by your individual neighborhood. Um, but you know, fuck it. He's right. Um, I still think it's racist gerrymandering. But at the end of the day, like they racist not race isn't even a factor. What? Yeah, sure. Um, it seems like a you know a way to sneak in that uh, bit even without them specifically doing it. But I mean, what I guess if, look you know, that up and admit you're wrong we'll, about that. I'll take later. that L. No, it's okay. Oh, um, but like I said, I'll take an L if I take an L. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't take an L. He st he never he never fucking replied to me. He never fucking replied to me over this clip. Wait, wait, where? I I don't think I downloaded the clip. Where is the clip? Ah, no, I don't want to hear myself. Ah, it's me! Hello, honey. Um, ooh, chat command gear. Ooh, I do need to do that. I, I still, that's a good idea, Sherman. Like, I do read the suggestion, su su suggestion thing box, um, but my, I only have one fox plushie, unfortunately. But, like, my friend got me, my housemate got me a nice, uh, cool little, um, uh, uh, toy gun, I guess. An AK-47, I think it's supposed to be. Um, where... Where's my... Ugh, how do I use Twitch? I've forgotten how to use Twitch. Alright, there we go. Videos. Sort by highlights. Oh yeah. choose to not identify as woman that's not what like or it, it, it's it's not not circular by virtue of the fact that every adult human female doesn't identify <laughs> that's as all right woman. what makes it circular is that when you're trying to define the word yeah. if you get to the same word then you have to start over at, at the beginning uh, because the definition okay, has no okay. utility if okay the well word how about is this your test of circularity because you don't have <laughs> a no, fucking I'm just, brain i'm just writing so, so, yes. so writing down your
Yeah, yeah. So, so, so. Wait, what? I think it's circular because some people may choose to not identify as woman. That's not what, like, or it, it, it's, it's not not circular by virtue of the fact that every adult human female doesn't identify as woman. What makes it circular is that when you're trying to define the word, yeah. if you get to the same word, then you have to start over at, at the beginning uh, because the definition okay, has no okay. utility. If your test of circularity because you don't hear your test of your test of circular test your test of circular Wait, why did it do the definition? Okay, why did okay, it cut okay. out? Your it's cutting out the good bit. Holy shit, it cut, it cut out the entirety of the good bit. That's fucking bullshit. Percent. So why are you talking to us what like we're fuck? not people? I don't know How what's does that going happen? on here. I don't even this know is... what that means. Obviously, I think you're people, which is why I'm asking well, her questions like about our growth. What does that mean? What are you saying? Well, it's How just, am I it's <laughs> All right. Um, so I'm all set up, ready to go whenever you guys are. Okay. Could we run down? What are will you guys tell me what I'm doing here? <laughs> uh, Brittany, well, I, I had planned to have you on the call and last minute reached out to Fnatic to make it a debate night. So you're nice. just you're chilling. You're involved. I, I told um I told Fnatic. All right, sorry, I'm just trying to find out what happened to this clip. Is that non-circular your test of circular test your test of circular? Your test of circularity because you don't have no, a fucking I'm just, brain. I'm just... That's so weird. Like it's it's skipping through it every time. I basically I basically um won that debate for for um for um uh I can't remember. Make it circular because some people may choose to not identify as woman. That's not what the file is corrupt. Make it circular because some people may choose to not identify as woman. That's not what like or it, it, it's it's not not circular by virtue of the fact that every adult human female doesn't identify as woman. What makes it circular is that when you're trying to define the word, yeah. if you get to the same word, then you have to start over at, at the beginning. Uh. Because the definition okay, has no okay. utility if okay, the well, word how about is this? in the definition. Okay, well, how about this? How about yeah, this? It's, a it's, woman is somebody who identifies as as a poly poly as, by the way poly people fitting in a particular role which yes is <laughs> by <adult> <laughs> and yes by the way CG on seventh is that non circular yeah. now because I changed a word okay so, then Jesus Christ so, dude. let's write so this like out. you're being so, so your new definition yeah. yes new definition is, yes it's not my right, new definition it's the same thing but you <laughs> your weird test of circularity because you don't have you a know, fucking I'm just, brain I'm just writing. Yeah. 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 So he hasn't. He still hasn't replied to to my challenge to to actually school him on what an, what a woman actually is. And I'm, that's an open challenge for anyone. I can fucking school you on that shit. Like if you want to, if you think that you can school me on what a woman is, um, and like transgender, like politics and all of that sort of shit. Fucking good luck, man. If you think you can argue, um, you know, basic basic shit like that, like. You better bring your, uh, not your biology 101 books, but like your, um, human, human bio fucking, uh, you know, full on, full on Grey's Anatomy, all of your fucking books for, you know, your four years of medical studies to attack me with that shit, because you're not going to get me on that. <sighs> you're not like hyper opinionated on anything. He was a bit worried about this becoming a trash fire because maybe, I don't know, you you were just gonna throw social hand grenades, but I actually think you're probably more conducive to an understanding conversation and trying to hear both of us out than, um, yeah. than most creators. So hopefully you're okay I'm with really it, curious. Fanatic. I'm just curious, cause I was researching it and we're talking about the great replacement, right? Yeah. Because I've researched it. Is it weird? Can I just ask, like, isn't that just normal, like, life? Isn't that how life goes? Like, people cohabitate? I mean, yeah, you're not She, she She's not wrong there. That's just normal Peyton life. have babies differently. And the conspiracy is actually that there is no conspiracy. That some people might just want to replace white people, but, like, they don't matter. Normally, people just fall in love. And naturally... Um, White people that's will be not, less? That's not wholly what the theory is. So the theory isn't just to do with, like, 
mixed race relationships. It's to do mm-hmm. with um, immigration primarily and the rates at oh. which immigration are happening. So it's basically... It's the theory that the... It is the racist conspiracy theory that Jewish people are bringing in migrants to uh, Western countries in order to change dem- demographics and gain control. It, it always comes back to Jewish people. It's always anti-Semitic. It always comes back to the bankers, the ruling elites. It, it, it's, a, it's just a dog whistle for Jewish people like it always is. It always has been. It's always just been that shit. Um, for some reason. I don't understand why um this this has gone on for so long but yeah like the, what the f- first girl said is basically it like demographics change over time and that's a normal part of human existence like that just happens that's just what happens that's it that's it saying you know you have one people group in you know, obviously throughout history, you've had different people fall in love. And I think that that's a much more, way more conducive form of immigration than the current immigration we've got right now. When you have someone that's perhaps from another culture, falls in love, gets married, and then they go into a country and they join the family, they become part of the community, the history, the bloodline, all of that becomes important to them when they move because they're actually like, almost forcibly, they have to become a part of the culture. They have to be able to speak with their spouse. They have to do, whereas immigration where you have all these communities coming into a country going into enclaves not communicating not communicating not connecting with the wider culture not becoming a part of the country that's the and there's reasons for that and it usually comes down to people having really weird conservative ideals and exclusionary policies towards um immigration when you treat people like human beings they integrate more effectively within to your community and you can grow and change and learn from each other like this is how it actually works rather than what she's saying like they they base the the important thing to realize and really remember about these people um like lauren people like lauren southern um is that they believe that fundamentally um these are problems that are unchangeable. They're just normal problems. They aren't societally based. They're just culturally people um, jump into their own crowds. They, 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 they collect together. Then there's no way to change this. That's what they believe. They don't believe the actual scientific consensus on the way that society changes over time. Instead, they believe in a static fixed universe that nothing can change. Then you have to um, kill your brother to be able to um, succeed. So I guess conservatives are Cain and uh, everyone else is Abel. Stuff Perhaps. that's like ultra causing problems because we've had, you know, we've had people groups mixing since the dawn of time. That's always happened. That's why if anyone takes a blood test, they'll probably be like, oh, you know, I'm even if they're not a, a bunch of different ethnicities, maybe they're like, wow, I'm French, I'm Swedish, I'm a bit. Yeah. Oh, and also the, there's a lot of uh, race realism in, in this uh, movement as well. They they believe in that there are inherent uh, benefits. It, they, they believe that um, they believe that uh, Lord of the Ring, uh, sorry, uh, uh, Dungeons and Dragons cla- style classes and races exist. They believe that these things are also static and unchanging, and that's why they have policies that reflect that. I'm this and that, and that's never like completely changed the demographics of a country because it's been a slow trickle in just based on these natural relationships. The, when people talk about the Great Replacement, they're talking about an unnatural movement of people at a mass scale yeah, talking that's about a being conspiracy promoted theory. by government. So we're having people that are being normally couldn't afford to make these trips wouldn't be able to wouldn't be allowed to because they don't have the proper visa this that and the other being brought in by government policies that are directly fun and and it comes into um the it's the, the, that's where she stops with the she starts she stops going to further than other people um like the great replacement is based on jewish conspiracy theory um, and so they believe that Jewish people, uh, through money and wealth, are influencing the government, basically. That's it. That's that's the fucking weird-ass belief that they have. It's weird. And damaging. Funding. 
the changing demographics. They, they think that someone's doing it on purpose to change these demographics. So they believe that things are fixed and static, but at the same time they believe that um, Jewish people are changing the, the things, trying to unnaturally change the things that are fixed and static. So like there's a contradiction there, um, which um, I can't quite remember what the thought terminating cliche for that is at this time, but that's basically effectively what, what they're position is usually. so that's they, that's they, the they normally put something in that box whether it's like uh, the great replacement or like uh illuminati or like bankers and that sort of stuff to try and get through it but um they they normally in conversation they don't get um they don't get uh exposed enough to the concept that they have this contradiction contradicting way of worldview which just is inherently contradictory to them their, their world it's between what you were worldview. talking about and what people view as the great replacement interesting interesting hmm. um oh someone base tape just said does anyone remember the great replacement being a un talking point like 10 to 20 years ago familiar naming convention too is about european birth rates being so low the countries are collapsing yeah that there was a un talking point about it um if i remember correctly and what right, was the so union? Fanatic, I'll oh, let okay. you, yeah. So, so nothing, nothing. So, she's, so that that's another thing that happens. They'll, they'll they'll bring up a thing that they think happened and just like leave it there for everyone else to draw the conclusions from that. So, because on its own, like she said that the UN had a talking point, point which had something to do with the Great Replacement, and you can extrapolate anything you like from that. But her audience is already pre like primed to believe that that must be some sort of proof, uh, and they'll use that in conversations with friends and colleagues later on. It's it's fucking disgusting. Uh, you're the one who wanted to talk about this, so I'll give you the floor to kind of bring up your thoughts and what you wanted to confront me about. Okay, so look, it really boils down to. Um... Hmm. I guess the Great Replacement, I guess, is a good launching point. But I, I think the broader conversation that I'm interested in is it seems like um, at one point uh, you've had the nickname. People used to call you Alt-Right Barbie, right? <laughs> and it was basically like the idea that you were like this. Because they think I'm know, so cute. <laughs> sure. You're a, a hyper blonde, be bleach, uh, bleach blonde uh, chick you're, talking about all. May maybe less cute and more your basic as fuck. These like, you know, alt-right talking points and stuff, like pretty conservative, like really hanging around. A Plastic, fake, um, white supremacist symbol. Um, uh, <laughs> take your pick of uh, reasons why people would call you that. Like, it's not usually an endearing term to be being called a Barbie doll. Bunch of ident identitarian movements and, like, um, putting... Unless, unless, like, you're really good at cooking barbecue. Out, like, videos and stuff, like, talking about the Great Replacement. So then um, there was a bunch of alt-right stuff, and then there was a whole boat incident and all sorts of nonsense, right? And then after all of those things, you kind of disappeared. And then mm -hmm. you came back, and it seemed like... Some people had gathered from a video that you released that you were more so somewhat central, or at least you had maybe uh, stepped away from some of the more extreme alt-right position. But it didn't seem like there was ever any like disavowal communicated. It just seemed like it was just a, hey, that's a thing of the past. I'm no longer that person now. And just kind of moving on. Meanwhile, you have the left-wing media that's trying to like make some associations between you and the Christchurch guy, right? And sure. I think you made a video kind of distancing yourself from him. And um, I guess where I say personally, where I feel is I think that this movement, the great replacement. I and then I think I can't remember whether it was I think it was Lona Box did a really good video deep diving into how she actually was uh, a very deep part of that conspiracy theory. Like she she um, helped to popularize it and actually, you know, invent it um like taking it directly from its source um the the source inventor and um teaching other people about it um like she's not innocent she is not innocent idea <laughs> it seems like it's still influencing people today so when you have that guy from buffalo I mean, go to Buffalo, New York and shoot up those black folks um, in that supermarket. And he's like in his manifesto, he's talking about the Great Replacement as the Christchurch guy did. 
um, and then you being one of the earlier purveyors of the great replacement theory, then it seems to me like uh, there should be some sort of disavowal, especially when you see how it's being used and interpreted. I no longer take the accusation that I'm the purveyor of the Great Replacement Theory seriously whatsoever, nor take any moral blame for it, because I think it's far more likely that any of these people, first of all, there's never been- You never have. You never have taken the blame in any association what? with any of these shooters of me. There's never been any proof that they watched my content, watched my videos. Well, that's just an absolute lie. It's proven that they watched your content and that you were the first to popularize it on YouTube. Like, it all comes from you. You popular popularized the Great Replacement Theory on YouTube before anyone else. You started this shit. So you're just lying at this point. She is literally just lying subscribed to my channel, donated to me, none of that. In fact, in, you know, thousands of word reports that police have done on these shooters, I've never been mentioned once. Y'all know when that manifesto hits, I'm there cl clicking, uh, what is it, F10 to search, <laughs> search for my name. But um, no, that's never been- You popularized the term Great Replacement Theory. Like, you can't weasel your way out of this one. It's just ridiculous to expect that people believe you like this. That's disgusting. In the case, what has been the case, though, is there have been mass mainstream media reports on The Great Replacement saying not only that it's true, but that they support it. New York Times, Guardian, Time Magazine, all of these places have reported that white people are being replaced, they're being destroyed. Some of them, I know you had a recent clip go viral on Twitter from... Ah, oh, she's a... Brown reporter from Nova Media, but she basically a brown reporter was talking about how the Great Replacement theory is anti-Semitic. It's bigoted. It's it's yes. Islamophobic. It's and then in rooted. the same clip, someone it's rooted in in uh, Jewish conspiracy theory. And the fact that she claims to not know anything about this is completely goes against the fact that she like spoke with the inventor of the whole movement, and she was deeply involved with that, like with with spreading it on to YouTube. Like, these are just lies at this point. She is just an absolute liar. She lies. She has absolutely no credibility at this point. It's fucked. One splices in another one of her videos where she says, we are replacing the white British population. We're winning, boys. This is great. We're doing this. So, like... You have the mainstream media constantly in the same breath telling people they can't talk about this issue while also saying it's completely true and a good thing. So the idea that all of this came from me just spurred from- And also she's, if you notice there as well, she's sort of like, um, F10 doesn't church. I, I, maybe it does in America. I don't know. Americans are weird. Um, she, she's conflating the two different, uh, the, the two different, um, definitions though right now like the lady at the st start said the great replace asked whether the great replacement theory was just talking about demographic change um which it's which it's not it's an anti-semitic jewish uh, an anti-semitic um conspiracy theory um you can like pretend that it's not all you want honey but like that's what it is and that's what you believe in like, it is you believing that there is a shadowy cabal of, uh, like, bankers influen influencing uh, gov the American government into um, d changing the demographics unnaturally in order to uh, get more votes for uh, the Democratic Party or whatever, like, boogeyman the right has at the time. Um, it's not a real thing, the Great Replacement, as... Uh, the Great Replacement is not real. Now, what she's done here is taken um, all of these uh, news media organizations talking about demographic change and conflating that with the Great Replacement the theory after already um, telling the First Lady that the Great Replacement theory is a conspiracy theory. None of these media organizations have, like, claimed that uh, the Democratic... Oh, sorry, like, uh, apart from Fox News, but, like... Yeah. Of course Fox News is going to lie about that shit. Yeah. So she's she's not only lying, she's just be she's being, like, 
it's not even an intention intentionally uh, misleading. Um, yeah, the great replacement should be a brain. What would you replace it with, though? It's just like, just it's just fucking moldy at this point. Who would want it? Who would want that brain? Ugh me on the internet as if every mainstream media article aren't saying the exact same that, thing though. and the more likely culprits of that. people discovering or thinking about this theory i'm sure but some people have said that right um I, sure. I think I, it's so a very deal, silly though. many people are saying this i don't want to have a um, i don't want to have a conversation with the random people on twitter who say completely insane things or insanely leftist media that are making quite crazy statements i only want to be responsible and accountable for the things that i say and what mm -hmm. i introduce into the conversation is that you're one of the earlier purveyors so what's wrong like, with talking you... about something that it, as britney kind of acknowledged well, is just well, true and happening well, well i just I just said this. She's just said that the, she she already um, defined the Great Replacement as the conspiracy theory. Your argument doesn't work here. You're just a fucking you just you just fucking weaseling your way around it and changing your definitions. Hold on, just there's a, there's a bunch of things that you said. You said that there was no evidence that any of those people had watched any of your content. And while we can't find any specific evidence that these people watched your content, yes, you can. I think it's incredibly likely that they, they watched your content. One, by obviously no, the associations did. of the people that you were associated with that they donated money to. For instance, one of those people was Stephen Molyneux. You were going and doing a tour in Australia and like like a, a short leg tour and like talking about like a bunch of pol political things. He donated to the identitarian movements that you were doing documentaries with. Uh, maybe not a documentary, but you were filming videos and things with. Um, he donated directly to Rebel Media, who was your employer at a point in time. His shooting didn't happen. He didn't directly donate to Rebel Media, but that, that's okay. False. Right. What, what you're what you're saying is that he that's also a lie. Donated, I believe. You also, like, okay, sorry, not directly, but did it through subsidiary companies. But they, they he did he did donate to rebel media your response to that was that he donated specifically uh, you fucking some, weasel uh, defense campaign some sort of yeah uh, that was legal, just legal um, being run through the but, processing system that rebel had but wasn't but the rebel. vast majority of but the vast majority of rebel media's defense funds are about their own lawsuits that they're involved with as they're constantly suing and being sued by it wasn't it wasn't for a rebel cause but so that's okay. a moot point. Well, I don't know. I, I don't know if we have that, but sure. So he donated to Rebel Media. You he were didn't, part he of did Rebel Media. He did not donate to Rebel Media. He donated. I'm to sorry. A he donated to something that Rebel Rebel Media was uh, that yeah. uh, Rebel so Media. So it wasn't to me, and it wasn't to my employer. They were simply not, running the processing system. But okay. So he donated through something that Rebel Media was specifically uh, fundraising, right? And Rebel Media benefited from this. So he donated say. to Rebel. Who this is like say, this is exactly like saying that. Donating to a charity doesn't go towards the people who own the tra charity. Like a non-for-profit -for pays. Like if you own a non-for-profit, have a look at some of the um, the the exorbitant um, salaries that they pay themselves. It's it's actually quite disgusting. So to say that Rebel Media was not taking a piece of that pie is very dishonest, and uh, I would like to see the receipts employed by you and again to a bunch of individuals who you had worked extremely closely with one of which was Stephen molly knew the other one which was uh i Stephane, can't remember his yeah. name the, uh stefan however you yeah stefan molly knew the other one i i could try to find his name it was um freak it was the guy that was part of that i didn't, didn't and it, what, what yeah what movement. what does what does any of this have to do with so what, I why i that, should apologize i don't think that I obama that should apologize for yet. the weather underground that wasn't my position. Uh, you know bomber but, donating to his but campaign. you're strawmanning you're strawman because I didn't say that you should apologize necessarily. What but I, this what, whole comment you started this with, I I would, you know, I would believe there needs to be some sort of apology or something for your associations. No, you started by talking about that disavowal. That disavowal. So why would sure. a donation to someone, even if it were to me, why would that require a disavowal? I don't. So wait, so she's saying that the it's, that um, the, the I guess the Unabomber donating to Obama, right, is uh, the same as. Um, the donations to Rebel Media, who used said do donations for legal funds for St Stefan Molyneux, who is a self-professed white supremacist. No matter how you spin this, it doesn't really look good for you.
Now, those are not the same things. I don't choose who donates to me, nor do I choose who donates to other people that I've spoken to. You can choose to accept those donations. Are you not like aware how political pro like literally th this is the kind of this is the kind of person who will say that like uh, the banking elites are um are uh, bribing government officials and then as soon as they get like massive donations from like very apparent people um they say oh we don't choose who devote do who donates to us you know oh, it doesn't affect us yeah but they're donating to you for a reason even if you don't choose who that donates to you it can be very telling about what you're doing that they are donating to there that indicates that your goals are generally speaking in line with theirs and it's not the same if like a random like fucking murderer donates to a political campaign versus a massive conglomeration paying legal fees for a white fucking supremacist. You are fucking baby brain. Seriously. These takes are just stupid. I would say when there are people who are running reports that are specifically referring to the Great Replacement as having potential to uh, galvanize individuals into becoming uh, specific civic nationalists um, that they say could result in, in, in extreme behavior, and we're seeing it play out time and time again from different mass shooters in different locations, and this is something that you advocated for. You advocated for a solution to the Great Replacement to be for people to become civic nationalists. That was one of the things that you suggested. What's wrong with civic nationalism? Well, what you're seeing with people who are becoming civic nationalists, specifically around whiteness, is that you're starting to see these I think you're thinking about white supremacy, not civic nationalism, when you're- Well, I mean, the, the Venn diagram is almost a perfect circle, so distinction without a, dis without a difference, honey. You're talking about these shooters. In fact, well, they'd probably no, call I'm, civic no, nationalists no, 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 no. cucks. I'm sorry, I'm not talking about white supremacists, I'm specifically talking about so civic So you think, you think that Brendan Tarrant was a civic nationalist? I'm I'm saying that the civic nationalists have in, have on on more than one occasion done acts okay, what, of wait, violence. So what shooting? What shooting? Ha wait, 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 what shooting has been shooting. done? So the Christchurch shooter was a civic nationalist. Yes. What is a civic nationalist? A civic nationalist is a person who um, kind of, I guess, establishes, God, I'm coming up with a definition off the top of my head. I understand the concept. But the basic idea is a person who kind of uh, establishes an identity um, around, uh, I guess, their own, I guess, their own race or their own tradition or their own um, or their own specific country. Um, there, there's it, 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 it obviously is a term that can be used rather loosely, but it basically just a, it involves specifically establishing an identity and an in-group um, around, you know, some sort of civic. Uh, do do uh, you know why the word group. civic nationalist came about in right wing circles? No. Because white supremacy didn't sound as fun? came about in right-wing circles as a direct opposition to ethno-nationalism, which is what you just incorrectly defined civic nationalism as, as having a tied your racial identity. So it became a dog whistle because people got became uncomfortable with being called racists. Okay, cool. Glad we've, we've established that. Entity. So ethno nationalism and where is where it's like I identify with white people and that is my nation. Civic nationalism is based on your values of the nation, based on the laws of the nation, the language, which I'd like to think. You so it basically allows you to claim that you're not being racist because you're not using the words white. It's just basically using white uh, race blindness as a cover for uh, white white supremacy. I, I I'm willing to bet that people who are against White supremacy would probably not call themselves civic nationalists unless there was some fucking weirdo were like Caleb Morpin or the rest of the clan shoes left. But yeah. Even most leftists support to a degree. Uh, if they yeah, don't, then they the don't really believe is... in a state or a nation at all. So, like, sure, you're... But the problem is that you guys literally you guys use these words interchangeably. For, for example, no, you they're talk not about using Yes, they do. They do use them. The only people that use the word civic nationalism are like are white supremacists who don't. Who want to fly under the radar? It's the same shit. It's the same shit. It's just it's Nazi shit. It's just co-opting. It's just trying to co-opt the right terminology so that they don't get arrested for being fucking racist. That's all it is. They just want to be white supremacist and they want to be have the freedom to do that. Well, no, you you don't have the freedom to do that. Um, I will never like. I'll expose. I'll I'll expose you every time. 
Yes, yes they do, because there's plenty of times where they will be talking about specific nationalism and they will specifically be talking about white culture. So when you say the um, like the, the 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 that they value their traditions and these and the history history of the country. So do you so think so any so dog whistles? A lot of times, a, a, a lot of times time that th those things are centered around whiteness. When you specifically talk about migrants in different places, you're not just talking about like um, if, if there's Polish or other European migrants, you don't have a problem with it. You have a problem when these people are black or when these people are of a different ri or when these people are Muslim or when these people are of a different religion <clears throat> in general. So the, a lot of these things are these things are used interchangeably. You don't very get to, often. Look, so many. I don't know if you do this, but so many leftists will say there's no such thing as white culture and then simultaneously accuse right wingers who say I want to retain the culture of my country of wanting to retain white culture like because it's a white supremacist day, dog whistle. White culture, whiteness is being within the um, hegemonic power group. That's what whiteness is. To talk about white culture as a cultural tradition, no, there is no white cultural tradition other than, if you really want to go into it, the oppression of other cultures. Like, white culture, um, if you're going to use the term white, is defined in its oppression and exclusion of other cultures. That is what whiteness is. Like, I always like to say, the translation of whiteness to, chi to China would be Han. Like, I, that, that's very simplistic way of looking at it, but we're talking about dominant exclusionary um, culture and just the, the, the phrase of white and the whiteness of your skin has just become synonymous over time uh, in order to exclude people from those hegemonic power structures. Um, so by saying that also she's kind of like fucked up a bit here because she's started she's actually defending um uh people like standing up for white culture right now so so like she's actually kind of doing like a, a a defense of white supremacy right now in this argument we'll see that when we come back to it but she's when you defend white culture you are defending the right to exclude other cultures from your in-group that is what white culture is that is what whiteness is it is the exclusion of particular groups and it changes over time um and people are included or excluded over time uh yeah i am i'm just like meh you guys need to decide is, I'll, I'll give this a bit uh, another five minutes and then we'll then i'll head out is you know american conservative culture that is pro-family pro-business you know pro-capitalism pro-freedom is that whiteness or is there no white culture so i when you ask me what is white culture, I, I don't know exactly what that would mean. I mean, that could mean it depends on how other people want to use it. I'm not saying that there's no such thing as white culture. I, I mean, it's going to be up to different people to interpret it in different ways. But you right? just accused me of promoting white culture. So I'd like you to define it. I'm saying you and your civic identitarians is what um, the civic, civic nationalist identitarians, identitarians. Okay. civic national i'm sorry civic nationalists oh, for fuck's sake let the guy fucking speak you dumb identitarians, bitch. identitarians aren't civic like nationalists but okay continue okay what's the difference can you explain to me that then maybe because maybe i'm using these for these phrases wrong can you tell me what the difference between a civic nationalist and an identitarian oh, see like they're they're all a bit identitarians view so you're gonna you're more likely to find civic nationalists in places like Australia, Canada, and America, where the relation of an individual to the land and the country is is not so inherent to their ethnic background, right? Um, you will meet ethno nationalists who believe that despite the fact that their you know ethnic background isn't from America. These are all words to describe the same thing, which is a group of people who wish to be included within the hegemonic power structure to the exclusion of all others. That's what it is at the end of the day. That is what whiteness is. That's what all of, the, all of these things are just words to the words to say the exact same thing. And it's fucking old. It's getting old at this point. It's just getting old at this point. It's all I can really say about it. Uh, maybe they're German, but they live in America, but they're still an ethno-nationalist, right? That's going to be different from an identitarian who view the culture and, and ethnic and traditional and historical background of their nation as all being linked. So an identitarian would say, wait, 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 you know, stop? France so is linked to the French people. 
Whereas so an ethno nationalist have the same views, would there not be overlap where a civic nationalist would also uh, have a value to the things that you just mentioned as far as no, because civic civic nationalists reject ethno nationalism. They believe that the inherent part that makes a country is like the laws, the culture, whether it's a Christian culture or a um you know, a, a country that has a second amendment or something or free speech laws, that's going to be the stuff that but they think so makes their overlap. nation or it's an English. Uh, you think that right, there's an overlap between being a certain ethnicity and um, having a second amendment? Maybe. No, I think there's, I don't know. No, 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 I'm, no, 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 no. What I'm saying is, is that there's an overlap between the ways that you describe these things. So when I asked you the difference between these two, you went in and said, this is where you'll find civic nationalists and then said, these, this is what you will find. There's an this overlap what, in okay, lots of things in the world. What you but said was, then you said, still... this is what substantially is a, as an identitarian. And what you described is would be substantially found within identitarianism was were literally some of the exact same things that you would find within civic nationalism. Correct. You know, you also so find there similarities between men and women. Men so you're drink water and women drink water. Sort of distinction. Okay, good. Men so have a brain like and it. women have a brain, but there's still significant I differences. I totally agree. And the question that I specific... Yeah, but the thing is, when, when, when those significant differences are like... Being a racist piece of shit is the same on both sides. It doesn't fucking matter. You, you. She doesn't even know how to argue properly. Like all, all she's doing is saying, "Oh, you know, two, these two things are different, so then other things are different, right?" It's just like, no, that's not how that works, honey. That's really not how it works. Ugh. But that's all I have time for today, though. Um, I will hopefully see you next week. Um, I'll be back probably Tuesday because we've got a long weekend. Um, and, uh, yeah, so until I see you next time, uh, take care of yourself, take care of yourself, and take care of someone else. Bye-bye. <laughs>